have landed on the April 2023 eBay seller shout out. The sales you are about to see in this video are posted on my Facebook group where we have a thread every week called Money Making Monday where sellers can brag about what they sold and it also helps everyone else watching these videos and looking through the Money Making Mondays because we can learn what sells. So we are going to jump right in. These sales are not in any order. Anything goes, so just listen for your name to see if you made it into the video. We're going to start with Stephen Gittler, Dr. Gittler. He said, from the lot I bought in January, broke even a while ago, so all profit at this point. This was the 21st set to sell from that lot. This is Lego Ninjago Thunder Raider set. It sold for $42.95. Next up is Jody Clark. Paid $8 at a thrift store for this Pioneer Woman Spring Melody Rolling Pin. Sold in one month for $50 plus $15 shipping. And there are several Pioneer Woman items in this video. Um, I think that brand is just getting momentum now because it's been around for a while. Yes, Walmart sells it, but not everything they ever made is made forever. So as things need to be replaced or break or whatever the situation is, People are coming to eBay to look for those pieces. Okay, Carol Hollis paid $7 at the thrift, took maybe three months to sell for best offer of $64 plus shipping. We have a very plain looking blanket. Vintage 1997 Furio Queen Dayton Hudson acrylic thermal blanket with satin trim. $7 sold for $64 and I'm really starting to love selling linens especially if they are in the package <laughs> they're just so easy to ship they're not gonna break and they're pretty easy to photograph Julie Gambino purchased at the Goodwill bin so maybe a dollar sold after five months for best offer of $15 now this item actually sold in March and it is a vintage Easter meaning that's the company that made it I sure hope nobody would wear this on Easter <laughs> vintage Easter unlimited Halloween mask skull demon hooded horns and it sold for 18 nine oh I'm sorry it sold for $15 but in March so eBay knows no seasons if you have it list it ginger lamp bright I picked this up off Facebook marketplace along with a table which is what I actually went for for five dollars listed on January 6th of 23 sold on March 28th of 23 for best offer of $40 plus shipping so here is another pioneer woman item it is a six quart crock pot slow cooker sold for forty dollars Deb Hoffman picked these up off Facebook marketplace for free sold after nine or ten months for asking price plus shipping these are a very fun and whimsical pair of vans Hello Kitty shoes Yes, those are definitely unusual. So they were free and they sold for $60.99. And if you're not a shoe seller, there are some that just pop and you can just walk down that shoe aisle at the thrift store or at a garage sale, wherever you are, and look for things like this that are unusual. Um, 
that's what I do because I get overwhelmed with all of the brown and black shoes. I don't want to look at every single one sometimes because it may be towards the end of my shopping trip and I'm beginning to get a little brain dead. So these kinds of things with the patterns and the colors are very easy to see. Okay, Lewis Prizzy has a fun one. He said, my favorite find of the year so far. Paid $5.99, sold for full asking in about an hour after listing. And Lewis sometimes sells some kind of racy items, but they sell. The item is vintage sip and strip nude drinking glasses. Spencer, I'm wondering if they were sold at Spencer's Gifts, 1984. So my guess is when you fill the glass with liquid, the image changes and you have a scantily clad woman who turns into a naked woman. <laughs> this seems like an item that you would have seen in the 70s at a swinger party. <laughs> um, okay, so back on track. Paid $5.99, sold for $89.95 in an hour. Okay, here is another repeat offender, Sue Ann Acres. Bought this for a backup for my grandson who had one of these that he loved. Bought this 18 months ago from Slumberkin's website for $18. My grandson no longer loves his plush bat. He has moved on to his penguin, so we don't have a need for a backup. I was surprised that this was selling for so much more than the original retail price. Sold in two weeks. The item is Slumberkin's Mini Bat Stuffed Animal. It sold for $49.99. Kent Cohen. I bought this for about $5 from Walmart back in, I suppose, 2013 when I was collecting Hot Wheels. Unsure of what it was worth out of the package, I listed it high and after a couple of 50% offers, accepted an offer of $32. Sold in about a week. So there you can see 2013 Hot Wheels Need for Speed Retro Entertainment Series. $5 and it sold for $32. Donna Shirley paid $1.50 at St. Vinny's, listed for 13 months, sold for asking price. This is a Little Miracles puppy dog lovey plush. Looks like it came from Costco. It sold for $24.99. She only paid $1.50. Here is a beautiful item. Brian Rappaport paid a dollar at a garage sale last Saturday. Sold for $79.99 plus shipping in a day. This is an empty ceramic tequila bottle. And isn't that gorgeous? Just such a beautiful decorative item. So yes, people do buy these. Okay, Kathy Hermans, another belt buckle from a Pendleton whiskey bottle, so free. Sold two others for around $40, but the eBay market is saturated with them now. So took an offer of 25, took a couple of months to sell. This is a new 2023 Pendleton Whiskey Belt Buckle. So that's a pretty good price for a free item, 25 bucks. Jackie Basie paid $5 Thanksgiving week while out of town. Lack of a box kept me from listing until early March. Sold for full asking. This is a Christopher Radko Rock and Rattle Teddy, Baby's First Christmas, $60. Now, I've only found like one or two Christopher Radcos in my eBay life. And um, just a reminder, if you have an item like this that is kind of expensive, it could sell for a lot of money and you don't have a box, um, you can go to Walmart and buy boxes. 
even small ones for things like this. So um, try not to let that stand in your way. I know we all get that way where we are like, oh, how am I going to ship this? I'm just going to put this aside till I have time to think about it. And then the next thing you know, it's six months later and maybe you could have already sold that item. So um, Jackie, I'm definitely not fussing at you. I'm just saying um, sometimes we just wait for a box to show up and you can definitely go buy them brand new um, anywhere Walmart Staples um, office what is it Office Depot whatever those office supply stores um, it's just much more convenient when the right size box just shows up but beautiful item Christopher Radko sold for $60 and this was in March so again eBay knows no seasons Katie White bought at the bins for less than two dollars sold in a few weeks for full asking price huge lot of 200 plus pieces of poly pocket look at those little tiny things the little tiny shoes and it looks like a spoon and a fork and everything's just so itty bitty <laughs> you really have to have some patience to sell these types of items with just these tiny parts because I'm pretty sure um, well no I just know myself and I just wouldn't have the patience to do this <laughs> I would be like oh, that's that's too much trouble so Katie I commend you for laying everything out there and taking that great picture and for this sale two dollars and it sold for just under fifty Courtney Feiselman found at the bins sold in a couple of months for full price Fisher Price Teddy Rumple Bear from 1993 $60 so she probably paid a dollar for it and that just looks really plain to me it's not you know a unicorn with sparkles and glitter on it it's just your basic brown teddy bear 60 bucks Donald Hux bought this at Goodwill for $4.99 about two months ago. Sold for best offer of $40 plus shipping. Hamilton Beach Eclectics, Eclectrics, that's sort of a made up word. It's eclectic, but it's electric. Eclectrics, that's just hard to say. Okay, it is a retro drink mixer. He paid five bucks and sold it for 40. Terry Wilcox bought these for $2.50 and sold for best offer of $50. Had them listed for about three weeks. Vibram Men's Five Fingers Trail Shoes. And yeah, these are funky looking. They have. Um, like the rubber toes and it looks like a sock and your toes go in the slots and um, these are used for all kind of things you can use them for water sports um, hiking running trail running all kinds of stuff um, and it's supposed to have a more natural feel when you're out in the wild doing stuff anyway two dollars and fifty cents sold for fifty dollars Lydia Buscemi two Disney World ticket stubs from 2004 took a best offer of $21 in less than 24 hours so these are just retro well I guess they're vintage almost vintage Walt Disney World ticket stubs just laying around and she got $21 Jane Brown it's been a slow two weeks, but that's okay. Instead of running to the post office, I've been reorganizing eBay items. Paid $3 at a church rummage sale, sold in four hours for $50 on offer. Keep listing everyone. Don't get discouraged in slow times. Thank you, Jane, for reminding us because we all get frustrated when things are not selling. So aren't these just adorable? Vintage anthropomorphic big eyes pig salt and pepper shakers and they were three dollars she sold them for fifty 
Okay, there's a lot of really long words in this uh, edition. <laughs> I'm trying not to stumble over them, but yeah, anthropomorphic. It means it has human qualities. So you can see the the eyes look kind of human. They have eyelashes, that type of thing. And this style was very popular back in the 50s and 60s. Emily Smith paid $2 at Salvation Army last Monday. Listed same day and sold next day. Gucci sunglasses clamshell case sold for $14.99 Linda Allison this pair of throw pillows came with my new sofa but I didn't care for the style so free to me I listed them for $32.99 plus shipping they took a couple of months to sell I shipped them individually in vacuum pack bags placed inside poly bags these are Signature Design by Ashley Tibby Tufted Sofa Pillows. Free and they sold for $32.99. Tammy Mitchell purchased at an estate sale for $0.50. Cents, sold in four months for $24.96 plus shipping. This is a Cuisinart replacement carafe. For a coffee maker. Ah, that's a good flip. 50 cents sold for just under $25. Lauren Morgan purchased this exclusively Missook piece at the Goodwill Benz for $2. Sold in five months for full asking price of $34. I love this brand. It sells really well. It's usually um, like an acrylic texture so you can just walk down the racks of clothing looking for this type of texture in my world i look for linen cashmere saint john which is kind of this texture acrylic um, denim so i don't look at every single thing on the rack i just look for particular textures or like uh, heavily beaded and sequined items stuff like that so yes, I do love this brand. And you can see there, exclusively Missook Women's Travel Wear Cardigan Sweater. $2, sold for $34. Licia Rouston. This was my fastest sale to date. Posted it at lunch a few days ago. Sold in less than an hour to a buyer for my asking price of $19.99 going to China but shipping to Oregon first. I had bought it at a thrift store for two dollars the week before. This is a resin Easter Bunny decoration and she mentioned that it was going to Oregon first. It's probably a freight forwarder which there's no reason to be afraid of these. Um, these are companies that handle international customers and uh, buy things that they have requested and then handle the shipping from their location. They're usually on the coast, you know, the east or the west coast of the United States. So um, don't be afraid if that happens. It's quite normal and probably once or twice a month I send something out and it goes to a freight forwarder and it's never been a problem. Nikki Stram. I bought this Koala Hug a Pet backpack from the Salvation Army for $2.99. I had it listed for $24 but accepted an offer of $19.99 from a buyer in Germany who paid $27 for shipping through eBay International Standard Delivery. They were very happy and said they had been trying to find this bag for a long time. Don't be afraid to sell internationally. There are so many buyers looking for things that are not as easy to get as they are here in the United States. And Nikki, I agree with you 100%. So the item is Vintage Hug a Pet Koala Bear Plush Backpack. She paid $2.99 and it sold for $19.99. Kathleen Gifford. It has been a slow week. 
I picked up this set of like new Bibles for $16 at a Goodwill. Sold the set for $70 in about four months. The item is the Bible Story Complete Book Set. $16 sold for $70. Linda Arnold paid up at Goodwill for $5, intending to keep it because apparently I'm addicted to journals and notebooks and I loved the gilded pages of the insert. When I looked up the brand and found the sold comps, I knew I had to list it. Sold for $50 in about a week. As a bonus, the buyer left glowing feedback. This is a graphic image refillable embossed leather notebook. And Linda, I'm with you. I love little books and journals to write in. Um, I'm a writer downer person. (laughs) I have little um, like steno notebooks and journals all over the place so that when something hits me I can just write it down. For me it's just not the same typing it in or dictating into my phone. There's some kind of connection from your brain to your hand to the paper and I just like it that way. So um, maybe we should start a 12-step program for those of us who are addicted to journals and notebooks. (laughs) And we could have meetings and just write everything down. (laughs) Tina Wozniak Bought these two manuals at the Goodwill bins for maybe 25 cents at the beginning of March. Sold on best offer of $22.50. The Dino manual makes this lot more valuable. Okay, Barbara Knight paid $8 at Goodwill. Almost put back because they are such an odd color, but were in perfect condition. Sold in two days for full price. And you know what, Barbara? Maybe someone is going to wear this with their Halloween costume or their cosplay costume as Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz because maybe these are just expensive ruby slippers. Who knows? These are actually Salvatore Ferragamo, Italy, gold bow, rust leather pump. They sold for just under $90. Now they look red to me, but maybe they're not actually red. But that's the first thing I thought of when I saw these. Oh, Dorothy and the Ruby Slippers. Suzanne Keen paid $5.99 at one of my local thrift stores for this vintage Vanity Fair nightgown. Listed for $49.99, sold on offer to Watcher for $40. Took about six months to sell. And that is a beautiful color. So it's a Vanity Fair women's size large nightgown. Six bucks sold for 40. Cassie B. Sold for $20. This was on my bookshelf for years after purchasing at Barnes and Noble's Black Friday sale. I never read it and lost interest in it, so on eBay it went. It is the book Wildflower by Drew Barrymore signed copy and I will tell you Cassie that you didn't really miss anything I tried listening to this on an audiobook and Drew is reading it and there's all this horrible loud screaming like when she tells a story where she got frustrated she screams and I could only listen to about 30 minutes of it and I'm like this is not going to work for me. At least with the book you don't have that screaming and screeching sound effect um, the whole time but anyway sold for 20 bucks. Okay Tina DeVore got these at Walmart on clearance for $3.50 per set about seven months ago. They are a discontinued pattern. As I have been reviewing my inventory, saw the selling price of these have dropped some, so I refreshed the listing and adjusted the price, and it sold a few days later for the new price. I still have two more sets in inventory to sell. So here is yet another Pioneer Woman item. These are two sets of steak knives, and they sold for $29.99. 
97. And those are actually pretty cute. Eileen Cole, the book lady, does not have a book in this listing. <laughs> She said, this vintage towel set was $5 at an estate sale, sold in three days for full asking price of $39 plus shipping. Vintage, Canon, Royal Family Bath and Hand Towel, avocado green and pink. So $5 and sold for $39. And that looks like it belongs in the Brady Bunch house. <laughs> Karen Monks, I love blow molds and had never seen an Easter one. I bought two of these at a garage sale for a total of $3. Sold for $35 each plus shipping in a couple of days. Took offers once I saw what area the buyers were in, meaning the price range, because I knew we'd make some on shipping too. Ended up about $90 total profit. Oh, so what area she's talking about, what geographic area, and how much they'd pay on shipping. Okay, my bad on that. Anyway, this is a blow mold Easter Bunny, 18-inch from 1995, sold for $35. Terry Bishop bought this in a lot at an online auction, so I have probably less than 50 cents in it sold in about a week for an offer of $15. This is adorable. Vintage chalkware piggy bank, Napco ware made in Japan. So that makes it mid-century modern. That is just adorable. I couldn't have left that behind. So less than 50 cents and it sold for $15. Anne Rice, I paid $1 at a garage sale this last weekend. Yay for garage sale season again. They actually smell amazing, but I just don't need any more candles. They sold for full asking price of $32.98 in one day. I could only identify two of the patterns. So in case you didn't know, Lily Pulitzer makes candles and other home goods. So this is a box of three glass candles. It was a dollar and she sold it for $32.98. Tim and Rachel Beachy. Super cute little purse I picked up from Goodwill for $6. It took about two months and sold for full price plus shipping. Tip. I always smell purses before I buy them because one time I bought a bag that was so pungent with smoke smell I had to pitch it. It looks weird when I smell them, I'm sure, but it's worth it. Uh, don't feel bad. I've done that too, uh, like with linens and stuff like that, just to make sure that they're not uh, mothball smell. And um, yeah, so I'm sure a lot of resellers do that. So don't be self-conscious. This is a vintage Bohemian purse, hand-tooled leather, and it's sold for $49. 99. Stephen Gittler paid 25 cents each at a church sale last August, so $2.75 total. Sold for best offer of $13.95. This is a lot of 11 Hear Me Read Bible stories. That's a fun sale. Courtney Dam, I found this coach monkey keychain in a free box by the door at a local thrift store. Sold for $65 after a few months. Yeah, always look in those free boxes because you just never know. Somebody wasn't paying attention because you can see that on the fob right here, you can see Coach is on there. Um, but somebody just wasn't paying attention and that's an opportunity for us. So this was free and it sold for $65. And this item gets the award for the weirdest thing in this video. My neighbor here in Greenville, Leslie, she was on the podcast and talked about finding the painting that ended up being a person she knew. That was a very interesting story. Anyway, she says, I have to say I'm glad this was a quick seller. Picked this up at the bins a couple of weeks ago, sealed and unused. It's 
kind of creeped me out in my translucent inventory bins listed on Tuesday and sold on Thursday full price of $29 maybe I could have asked more but happy to have this already shipped so this is a inflatable CPR mannequin <laughs> <laughs> it's like looks like a person stuck in the plastic bag um, I would have had to put this like in a black trash bag to store it because it probably would have freaked me out too <laughs> all right KD Williams these glasses were picked up at a local thrift store for 75 cents six months ago sold for full asking price plus shipping on March 17th the item is a set of Coors Banquet Beer Bar Glasses, set of three. 75 cents into $24.95. And we're gonna end with another of my neighbors here in Greenville, Roshenna Ward. I picked up this brand new Sutera pillow for $3.99. Had a lot of lowball offers in the couple of months it's been listed just accepted best offer of forty dollars so it is an orthopedic contour pillow looks like it's new in the box four dollars and sold for forty okay we've made it to the end yay lots of interesting things in this video um, I hope some of this information was helpful to you and you learned something new keep posting your sales on money making Monday and as always have a profitable and productive day on eBay bye everybody